What's up guys? I uh, just want to make a quick video showing you um, some solutions I came up with for uh, heating my trailer in the winter, uh, travel trailer. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, we're going to be keeping this uh, trailer operational throughout the winter because we're going to have family coming in town for holidays and just different, different things going on that we might want to use it for. So rather than blowing out all the lines and winterizing the trailer, we decided to keep it operational. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys a few things I did. Um, so first thing, we, we just bought this trailer a few months ago. So this is my first year having a travel trailer. Uh, I have a Coachman Apex um, Ultralight 30-foot trailer. And it has the Arctic or winter package, whatever, whatever they call it, uh, where the underside of the trailer is insulated with this. Just, it's basically just some kind of sheet of plastic. I'm sure they have a formal name for it, but I don't know what it's called. Um, but it's nothing special, just really kind of traps a little bit of air in there. So when you run the furnace, that the furnace pumps heat down in the underside here and keeps everything from freezing. But what I decided to do, rather than running the furnace all winter um, and using all that propane, I decided to go with little uh, different solutions. So I bought this low profile space heater um, this one is about five inches tall uh, from top to bottom. Um, and so it's perfect for under the trailer here because I have about nine inches to work with. Um, so what I did is I cut a little over here, cut a little L-shaped slit. There's a slit going that way and then one running the other direction where that cord's coming out. Um, so that way I could kind of pull down the plastic and put the heater in there without actually cutting a full hole in there. And I'll put it, what I'll eventually do is I'll probably throw some gaff tape on there or something, some gaffers tape to to keep it all sealed up. And then that stuff's good because it uh, doesn't leave residue behind or anything. It's pretty it's pretty good tape. Um, but for right now, I just kind of have that that thing propped up with a piece of wood just because I put it in there yesterday and I'm not fully done tweaking things. Um, and then I put another little L-shaped slit right here uh, for a thermometer. So I have a, a a thermometer up in there that's kind of monitoring the heat so I can keep track um, and then over there we have the pipes coming down for the um, tank dumps and I wrap those in uh, heat tape and a little bit of insulation and stuff to keep them from freezing um, so this is yeah this is the heater I got right here and I can put a link in the description as well and then I'll go inside and show you what we have going on inside the trailer So, in here, all I have going, when, when the trailer's not being used, obviously the furnace is off, and then I just have this, it's just a cheapo 1500 watt, 1300 to 1500 watt space heater from Walmart, um, just to keep things from freezing in here. And I also have a, a thermometer in here to keep tabs on stuff, and I put this one uh, back behind this drawer. There's like the water pump and different stuff back here, some different water lines. So I threw one of the thermometers back here and this is what they look like. So these are, they have, these have a hundred meter range. So I have, uh, I just keep the display that keeps track of the temperature inside my house and it easily reaches in there. And the reason I wanted to put that thermometer back there is because it's going to be a few degrees cooler back behind all this stuff than it is in the living area where the heater is. So just wanna make sure that it stays a nice, comfortable temperature that's above freezing in there. And then this over here is how I keep track of the various thermometers. So uh, the top left here, that's the outside temperature. So I have one of those thermometers that's out in my backyard monitoring the outdoor temp. And then this one is the underside where I showed you where the heater is. Um, so that's a nice, comfortable room temperature uh, heat in there. And then um, this one right here is inside the trailer where we're at right now, uh, or actually behind that where the water pump is that I showed you. That's the temp back there. And then this is the temperature where the display is set up right here. And this is actually going going to go back inside my house when I'm done with this video. Um, so I can comfortably monitor all the temperatures and make sure uh, nothing drops below freezing. And the cool thing about this display is these thermometers that came with this display 
they show you the temperature and the humidity so you can keep track of the humidity as well um, and you can also set alarms so if one of these were to drop below whatever level I set it will set off an alarm and say hey it's too cold under the trailer your pipes are gonna freeze so better check it out um, so yeah that pretty much sums up what I have going it's a pretty simple setup and really what it does is it just saves the time of having to go refill a propane tank every few days um, and also the cost of the propane uh, where I live electricity is extremely cheap so it makes more sense to run a couple heaters to keep things from freezing um, and between the two heaters and this uh, this setup with the thermometers I'm able to make sure that even if like the power were to go out or a breaker flipped or something I can still keep tabs on what's going on because uh, this thing is also battery powered so if the power were to go out it's still going to keep tabs on what those thermometers are putting out and can alert me if it gets too cold so um yeah that uh that pretty much sums up what we have going on here um and uh, i'll put a few links in the description for the the thermometer and the display and the heater and uh yeah hope you guys enjoy the video